I manage Dex from my console and since 2003, we actually have been helping SME business owners set up their accounting solutions more effectively. So in today's tutorial, we actually will be looking into delivery orders. So delivery orders in accounting is actually a document that is used when we actually send stocks over to a customer. All right? So you may actually may key in your delivery order or you can actually transfer from other documents such as quotation or delivery orders. All right? So to go into delivery orders, all we just need to do is come to delivery orders. So in version 2, we just need to left click it to create a new delivery order. Okay, so in our, um, what we call advice, what we normally recommend our clients, right, is always to keep two different kind of layouts in your delivery order screen. So one is actually for storekeeper to actually prepare the deal and one is for the rest, like say example, accounts team, all right? So let's say example for a storekeeper, they would not need to know what's the unit price, what's the discount given, what's the total, what's the SSD and what's the tax implication. So what we can do right is actually from here, we can right click here, we can come to column chooser, come here, you can take away unit price, take away discount, take away total, take away tax codes, take away tax rates, okay, all these are not necessary for the storekeepers, alright. So let's say example, we actually have all that already remove. We can actually save the layout. So let's say we can actually come here, right click, save the layout. So we can say this is DO for warehouse. Okay. Then let's say we don't save it as a default. We press OK. Then what happened is now we want to assign that layout to a storekeeper. We can just right click here. We can press layout manager. And we can actually assign the layout to user. So let's say warehouse, then we can assign the layout. So example, DO warehouse, okay. Then we press save, All right? So if this user logs into the system, they will always see this particular layout, okay? So let's say for example, now in my scenario, I want to do a transfer from sales order. I can come here, here, I said JKL. Then let's say I want to press transfer. I can come here to transfer from sales order. Okay, so the system can say full document transfer means everything the customer order, place an order, you can fulfill immediately. If, for example, you want to do partial delivery, we just need to come here to partial item transfer here. So let's say example here got 100 units, right? So maybe I only want to transfer 50. So I press here 50. Okay, I press OK. Okay, so then they will show you 50 grams only. So let's say if you want to transfer some more, you may press transfer from sales order again. Here you can see original is 100, balance is 50. Okay, so let's say we don't transfer anymore. All we just do is we just press save and your DO is generated. Of course, for my this example, it got batch number, so the system will not allow me unless I key in the batch number. All right, so let's say we remove this and we use another item. Transfer from sales order. For example, I want to transfer this item. Okay, and then we press save and preview. Okay, so then you can actually select your DO format, then you actually generate your DO. You can actually send the DO through WhatsApp or email or even uh, print out and uh, send out physical copy. Alright, so this is your DO. Okay, so this is your DO format. Okay, just the quantity and the item. Alright. So if you like us to actually assist you in more detail, do feel free to contact us. And if you can, do like and subscribe to actually help us grow organically. Thank you.